good y'all i'm here to give you your daily cup of cocoa's tea with the top three stories in entertainment news and i feel like we're just gonna pick up on a trend of what we talked about last week celebrities continuing to say dumb shit on the internet well terry cruz last night said and quote defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy equality is the truth like it or not we are all in this together and promptly after he said that black Twitter started to decimate Terry Crews' Twitter account. A lot of other black male actors in the industry came forward to say something trying to correct Terry Crews and he said that he did not mean that black supremacy actually exists, but that we all have to work together in order for there to be change. Why hasn't somebody just taken Terry Crews' phone outside of the times that he absolutely needs it? He continuously uses his Twitter account to make statements that come across anti-black. Remember the things that he said about Gabrielle Union earlier this year when she made claims about her experience on America's Got Talent with NBC? And then Terry Crews came back and decided that he wanted to speak out against what it was that she said? Yeah, Terry Crews needs to go sit down somewhere and, and read a book. Story number two, Tory Lanez is spectacular or Pretty Ricky may be having a little bit of a beef. Yesterday on Twitter, we saw a video of Akon and Takashi 69 working together on a possible remix from Akon's original song, Locked Up. Where he jokingly mentioned that it wasn't fair that 6ix9ine was able to get clearance to remix that song before him. And Spectacular for Pretty Ricky chimed in and said, why don't you just take it just like you did my body and grind with me? Tory Lanez let him know that he did not steal that song and that he actually cleared those records for his mixtapes. Spectacular then accused him of acting funny ever since Tory Lanez got a new hairline and that he did not clear the records because Spectacular owns his own masters. Tory Lanez then posted the receipts from where he received clearance and now it's looking like Spectacular may owe Tory Lanez an apology. And story number one, a very interesting image is floating around the internet and the term kente is now trending on social media because Democrats both from the House of Representatives and the Senate have decided that they were going to take a meal for nine minutes while all wearing kente cloths. Yeah, you can't make this kind of stuff up. Apparently they thought this was the best way to honor the unjust killing of George Floyd. Now after this kneeling, they held a press conference to introduce a new bill that focuses on police reform. This year just keeps getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> Thanks for coming by to get your daily cup of Coco's tea. Make sure that you like and share this post.